It is Feel Good Friday and it is Family Law Friday. I'm joined once again by family family attorney John Schmidt. He's also a friend of mine. John, welcome back to the show. Thanks, John. So glad you are here. And this is a client of yours, Mr. David Thornton. David, thank you for coming in. Wonderful to be here. All right, I'm looking forward to hearing your story. But first, yours. Let's talk a little bit about your practice and, and what you do. For those folks out there, I've met a number of your clients now and they all rave about you. So tell them about well, what your field of expertise is, John. Sure, uh, we focus on uh, family law issues, uh, criminal and personal injury. So um, in the family law, it's divorce, both contested divorce and uncontested divorce, uh, adoptions, contested adoptions and uncontested adoptions, CPS cases or dependency, neglect and abuse cases, if you will, uh, custody, grandparents' rights and de facto custodian issues. So those are, those are pretty much the you know, issues that we focus on. I think it speaks volumes that you bring your clients on here, and these are people who have paid you for their services, but, and they're happy with the results. I, I can tell you, I don't have many attorneys that say, oh yeah, talk to my clients, because a lot of them are not so happy, but yours seem to be like they have the outcome that, that you promised and that you look out for them. Yeah, I don't promise outcomes. <laughs> I don't promise, okay, correct. I, I, mean, I deserve to be corrected. Yeah, I don't yeah, promise. I don't promise outcomes. I'll just fight for you. <laughs> I do, I, you know, I, I, I promise to do my best and uh, work as hard as I can and, and to be a zealous advocate for you, try to give you a voice in the courtroom. Um, but the judges make decisions, I don't make the decisions. Um, and um, and I, I, you know, there, there have been times I've been real close, All so right, yeah. Now, now we get to go to David. All right, David, you're in the insurance business, right? Correct. Okay, and from what I understand in the brief conversation we had, your relationship with John is multi-layered. So, so tell me a little bit about how you've used John uh, for personal reasons and for business, right? Right. So I was um, not the best marketer in the world. I thought that you needed to burn up some shoe leather to meet clients, and I stopped in John's dad's shop, and I'd hang around, get to know what he was doing, and um, we just developed a, one of those really good, quick friendships. and. And uh, John got through school, hanging out, hanging out a shingle, and he's an attorney. And about that time, I happened to go through a, a divorce, and uh, John was my go-to. Uh, oh my gosh, why on earth are you in Lexington calling somebody up in Louisville? Well, it's it's relationship, it's not distance. And I knew John would would have my back regardless of what happened. And I called him, and he was happy to come take care of me. You know, this is something that you take pride in, John, because this happens to be a, really a lifelong friend, sounds like to me. Yes. With that being said, I've met a number of your clients who weren't friends, but they felt like they were friends after they were dealing with you in business. This is something probably important. Get to know that person and genuinely care, regardless of the relationship. Right? It is, yeah. You know, when I was 40, I was walking through the Philadelphia airport, and um, I called a client that I had spent three years working for uh, doing IT work. And uh, I said, CB, his name's CB, bro, great guy, worked in Maryland cabinets. I said, CB, you know, did we make a difference in, in your life? And he went, eh. <laughs> and I said, oh my God, my, uh, you know, my epitaph is going to say, here lies John Schmidt, eh. <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't want that. So, pricing law has allowed me to, um, you know, help people and make a difference in, in times that are really stressful for them you know, the most significant things in their life, their kids, their marriages, yes. um, you know, uh, their liberties and the criminal uh, thing. So um, my hope is that when I die, people will show up. I, I, <laughs> I mean, I, I hope. I, I don't think you have anything to fear. You know, <laughs> That's my hope. <laughs> David, obviously, when it comes to, you know, legal, and he's very qualified, of course, very well-schooled, a nice resume, but it does count when it's something personal, like a divorce. I mean, that's something where you do need someone who cares because this isn't like business when it's all about the bottom line or so-and-so has sued me for this or that. This, this is something, you, you love this person and it's like, I want this to be as amicable or you know, I wanna make sure that I look out for me moving forward. So were you happy with what, uh, what Mr. Schmidt did for you? I, I found that just the prospect of divorce was very unsettling. Uh, particularly for a professional that just didn't get unsettled. It's, it's tremendously unsettling. And I realized I could go to my book or I could go to my client list and I could find somebody, big success, big reputation. Uh, but I was already at a point where it, it was pretty daunting personally. And I just wanted somebody that was competent and I knew would have my back and there was never a question who that was gonna be. 
And you have an added advantage with this relationship because you were telling me if you have other legal problems, you're in the insurance business, if you have issues that you're not familiar with, you give, you give John a call, right? We don't step over that line. In my office, we do, we step right up to the line of legal. We tell people, you're going to set up an LLC, you got to have an operating agreement. You're going to use subcontractors, you got to have a sub agreement. Uh, you're going to run this family business and perpetuate, you got to have a plan. And the next question is always the same thing. Well, oh, yeah, but I don't have an attorney. Okay, if you don't have a family attorney, I do. It's John. Give him a call. There you go. Highly recommended. I love that. And you know him as well as anyone. So, yes. John, that, again, that has to be nice to hear. You bring on example after example of people that are happy with the work you do. It is. It's amazing. And, and uh, David also is, uh, he owns Crumball Stables. So um, he's the only guy I know that can buy and sell and trade horses and race them and, and, uh, and still have an insurance agency where he takes care of clients. You know, he has all my insurance. I was telling you that you know, before we started. And, um, and David will call me up and go, you know, I've shopped around for you. I've found a better rate uh, with you know, an equally trusted carrier with a, a great rating, and I'm gonna switch you over. I don't have to call and ask. Right, I'm looking out for you. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't have to call and say, David, you know, check the rates and see if we get something a little cheaper. Um, you know, David just takes a very proactive approach. So, you, um, you know, what being a friend to him is uh, is no, not not hard to do. Mutually beneficial. He, he's a great guy. I love that. Yeah, he's hey, a great guy. Hey, so, it's, insurance it's, company, do you cover Louisville, Louisvillians as well, David? I wear Kentucky. Okay, good. Uh, I will do surrounding states as a concession to current clients, but yeah, we're Kentucky. Well, he just became a spokesperson for you. We got to get it out there. I we'll, mean, that's, we'll that's, take that's, it. That's Absolutely. Praise. Absolutely. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Okay, Family Law Friday, if you have an issue, whether it be a custody issue, a divorce issue, whatever the case may be, uh, perhaps criminal activity, you're the guy to call. First step, call, consultation. How does it work? Uh, yeah, you call the office at 502-509-1490. Talk to Patty. Patty is both my right and left arm and uh, she'll set up uh, an appointment. And uh, we do charge for consultations because we're very busy. So uh, that weeds out the people who are just looking for free advice. Um, and uh, she'll get you in and uh, we take it from there. All right, yeah. gentlemen, thank you very much. Appreciate your time, David. John, yeah. always a pleasure. No, oh, love being with you, John. Let's got yeah. to do it too. Let's get together again Let's soon. Let's do it. Once again, Family yeah. Law Friday, Attorney John Schmidt. Okay, coming up here, I haven't seen him in a while. Primax Composite Home System.